When you were a kid, did you ever go to the YMCA or a neighborhood pool that had a high dive? I remember seeing my first high dive at summer camp when I was 11. I was trying to get my honors patch in swimming, which required learning a basic dive. All of us were required to practice our dives off the side of the pool first and then the low dive. Now, the high dive was there for anyone brave enough to give it a try with just a simple alley-oop style jump for fun. I had watched our instructor do it and she survived. I even watched a few fellow campers succeed before me, but I still had to reason through the possibilities and make my own choice. After getting answers from my teacher about how deep the water was, if it was going to hurt, and who would jump in to save me if something went wrong, I felt much more confident. Even though others had lived to tell, I was responsible for my choice. After a couple of minutes of reasoning through it while standing and staring over the edge of the board, I decided that this was something I really wanted to do. So I backed up to get a running head start, feeling confident that this would be a success. As adults, we are faced with endless important decisions. Choices have consequences, and the more information we have, we can make wiser decisions based on those facts. Why should we blindly trust when most times there is plenty of information available to help us avoid disaster? Think of all the things you have researched when it came to spending money. How much time do we spend researching concert dates, vacation packages, which profile picture is most flattering or which foods contain less GMOs? What about the time spent searching Pinterest for the next DIY project or consumer reports for the reviews on that new gadget you've been wanting? Now compare all of those searches to the amount of time you have put into exploring the core values and banner principles that our country's leaders are promoting. Why do we put so much effort into the other things, but so little into researching facts about the decision makers of our nation? If we blindly trust in a party or leader without knowing what they stand for, it's just as smart as taking a hasty jump off of a high dive before even checking to see if the pool is filled with water. Empty promises and all but helpful agendas are detrimental and leave our nation subject to a hard and painful rock bottom landing when we realize that we blindly signed our name to a ballot for a person or party that stands for things that are in direct opposition to our core beliefs. We had better start paying more attention to the decision making paradigms of our current and future leaders. It's time to wake up and take a long, hard look before we leap into the voting booths because rock bottom is not a soft place to land. America was once a strong, sovereign nation set apart. And as such, we have a long way to fall. Jumping off of a high dive is a conscious choice. So is selecting a name on a ballot. Don't you think it's wise to calculate the risk prior to taking the plunge? We the people cannot just expect that someone will save us if there is no qualified lifeguard on duty. Our safeguards are disappearing one term at a time. No American should be hastily deciding, blindly trusting, or idly standing by doing very little to nothing as our nation struggles to keep its head above water.